Morning, my friends. Let's have some fun continuing off the last video. What is slavery? And I make a video like that purposely over an hour long because it's a deprogram. It's the opposite of hypnosis. It's waking you up and it should be absolutely mind blowing. Every moment of that video should be blowing your mind, showing you what you already know, but you've been confused of your entire life and ignorant. It's the ignorance that we go, whoa, it's right in front of my face. This shit's blowing my mind how it actually works. Hopefully you watched the entire video. Hopefully you watched it twice. Hopefully you watched it three times. I would recommend watching it twice in a row right now before we even do this video because that's the purpose of the video that I'm making right now is if you just watched the last video, your mind is completely blown. You understand that the Jewish supremacy does a, does a thing of where it's going to go, yeah, but I'm a Jew. It means that I'm God's chosen people. And you go, no, that's actually pretty evil. Um, you're a slave master claiming that you get to enslave everybody. And then the Jew will be like, yeah, but that's normal. That's, that's normal Judaism. I'm in control of the Goyim. And then you go, no, that's some pretty evil um, Colonel Sanders shit there, man. You're, um, you claim that you're the slave master. And they go, yeah, but that's what being a Jew is. It's normal. Everybody has Stockholm Syndrome to this. In, in many various ways, um, even, of course, with the Jim Crow community, which is identical to the Jewish stuff, the Jim Crow community comes from the Jewish stuff. The, um, the Aryan race of Hitler comes from all of this. The Jews and their biblical Jewish supremacy came first. And their whole thing of, no, we get to do this to you. No, no, see, it's normal to me. And you should have Stockholm Syndrome to it. So, no, I, I get to enslave you. And it's just normal Jewish stuff. So, let's watch Jesus Christ right here. And I'm going to say it again. If you watched the entire video, the entire one of the last video I made, What is Slavery? You need to be in this. You need to be understanding it. You, all the things that I just said of where if we were talking to that Jew guy, he would go, yeah, but it's normal. I get to en enslave the Goyim. I wouldn't even know what being a Jew is if I wasn't God's chosen people. So that's what Jesus Christ is up against. A bunch of motherfuckers going, yeah, but I'm God's chosen people. It means that Goyim are my slaves. It means that I write the rules and Goyim follow them. And Jesus Christ is more or less coming like um, the founding fathers of the United States where, no, um, everybody has rights and it's under God. One nation under God, not under Jewish supremacy. But they think it's so normal and you used to. Let me show you how not normal it is. Look at how Jesus Christ is solely up against Jewish supremacy that goes, yeah, but I get to make the rules. And if you said anything, it would be dangerous. John the Baptist. For first, first, since, since um, you guys really understand this when I talk about it as a left brain imbalance and the left brain imbalance can only slander, blackmail, and extort. Of course, here's Jesus Christ calling out the left brain imbalance, how it can't understand context. The only thing that it, it can do is slander, blackmail, and extort. So Jesus Christ said, well, here I am. I, I bet you're going to slander, blackmail, and extort me just like you did to John. John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you said he was possessed by devils. <laughs> then, then they all laugh. They all laugh and gaslight Jesus and go, Oh, Jesus, that didn't really happen. Isn't it funny how we do that? <laughs> Isn't it funny? They killed John. They literally killed John. 
They did all this shit. To, then if you bring it up, hey guys, remember when you killed John? They go, oh, it's so silly. Nobody could ever know if anybody killed anybody before. Isn't everything funny? Isn't everything gaslighting and just, and funny? And then Jesus Christ goes, no, you killed John. It's a real thing in the real world. They go, oh, come on, Jesus. Everybody's a nice person. Everybody's nice, loving, and kind but you. This came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you said he was possessed by devils. Here I am, drinking and eating freely with you. No doubt you'll say I'm a glutton and a drinker. Friend of the tax collectors and the sinners. <laughs> Rabbi! Oh, and, and, that, and Jesus Christ was actually predicting the future because he knew everything that this mental illness is going to do to him. And look at him. The, the actors in this movie are so good. It's done so well. You know that this is exactly what happened in actual real reality. It couldn't have been any other way. <laughs> of the tax collectors and the sinners. <laughs> oh, rabbi. Oh, 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 rabbi. Isn't that so funny? You said those things about how we killed John. Isn't it so silly? Oh, isn't it? Brush it off. Brush it off. No, no, Jesus. You're crazy. No. To bring up how we killed John, you must be crazy, Jesus. <laughs> Friend of the tax collectors and the sinners. <laughs> Rabbi, you have do us an injustice. We respect your achievements. And we understand. Uh oh, that. uh oh. Here's that here, here's that shit. Jesus, we respect your achievements, but what at what extent are you willing to uh, receive our mental illness? Uh what, what you're not doing our Jewish law, Jesus. We don't give a fuck. We can't understand context of any kind. We respect your achievements and we understand their importance. But to what extent are you prepared to accept our laws? We hear that you heal Oh you guys have become you, all all of you ladies and gentlemen, you have become so incredibly educated in this you actually know what they're talking about. They're talking about their law of duality where you're confused and you're the ultimate hypocrite and you graduate being a Jew into becoming a Christian which can understand context. So they bring up the Sabbath and they bring up the letter of the law and the sheep falling in the pit and Jesus Christ shows the door where you can understand context and hey, um, the Sabbath, it wasn't a literal thing. So how about you just get the sheep out of the pit? Are you prepared to accept our laws? We hear that you heal the sick on the Sabbath. Do you want our people not to rest on the Sabbath? If one of you had a sheep and it fell into a pit on the Sabbath day, wouldn't you go and get it out? But God made the Sabbath for man, not man for... But what is Jesus Christ really up against here? Sabbath. Oh, we understand. Oh, we understand, Jesus. But, but Jesus, Jesus, you, you got to. That. Jesus, you have to understand our Jewish supremacy. You have to understand that we control everything, Jesus. I understand what you're trying to say. But is it not confusing to the other people? We live by the law. If we accept the law to be ruled by exceptions... Then we are lost. Today, if it hadn't been for this... Event. Now look at this ultimate racist shit. This is the epitome of what racist is and a bigot. You know, all those things that the mentally ill lefties call everybody. These are the mentally ill lefties. These Jews right here. Look at this speech, and Jesus Christ has to sit here and understand how it's normalized for them, how they're just racist, and they think that they're the good guy, being just like the black community, as in Jim Crow, the Jim Crow community is the one that's racist. <laughs> the, the Democrats, these are the Democrats, these Jews, these are the ones, the, this speech that Joseph is going to give is the most racist God's chosen people. And, and Jesus Christ knows it better than you and I. Jesus Christ has to sit here listening to this, pretending 
that there's somehow good people and no, you're not racist. Oh no, you're not the bigots. It must be somebody else. And it, it uh, see, you get this. If you watched the entirety of my last video, what is slavery? If you watched it twice, if you watched it three times, especially if you watched it right before I'm making this video right now, you're really getting it. Let's see that we learned from Moses. We would not have our laws. We would not even have, we'd not even be a people. But, but, but hold on. What, what is it that he's talking about that he learned from Moses? Moses went up to shit mountain and got the tablets of the law, the red pill and the blue pill from the matrix. Moses is the author of the matrix pills. So what, what is it that they learned from Moses? If we accept the law to be ruled by exceptions, then we are lost. Today, if it hadn't been for the severity that we learned from Moses, we would not have our laws. We would not even have, we'd not even be a The severity they, lear they learned from Moses? Moses is Morpheus from the Matrix with the red pill and the blue pill. And Morpheus, who is Moses, Offered them the tablets of the law. <laughs> without yeah. without the matrix, I don't know what the fuck I would do. My red pill and my blue, uh, we would be lost. It, I, I think that you were enslaved by a game called Trees of Good and Evil. If it's a game of slavery and enslaving people. You enslave people's minds in the lower existence and they start thinking that they're God's chosen people and it would be a good idea if um, they were the slave masters and the rest of us were slaves. Except the law to be ruled by exceptions, then we are lost. Today, if it hadn't been for the severity that we learned from Moses, we would not have our laws. We would not even have, we'd not even be a people any longer. Yeah. Um, Jewish shit isn't a people. It's a belief system. Jewish has nothing to do with people. We could go and look and we can go, yeah, but Jewish people have certain characteristics. They got that big ass fucking nose. I'm going to tell you again, Jewish has nothing to do with people. It's a belief system. <laughs> Jews are white people. There's so much. There's so much to talk about. How did you know Jews aren't a separate people called Jews, where they're exempt from everything? Did you know Jews are just white people? The severity that we learned from Moses, we would not have our laws. We would not even have. We'd not even be a people any longer. But it is the. The excessive tolerance, the lack of rigidity. In now, there, there is so much to say. Maybe it's for another video, the deep mind fuck that goes on with these hypocrites, that they think that you're a hypocrite. It, it comes down to self-evident truth. It's had to have happened to you guys ever since you met me and I taught you about self-evident truth. People that live in the lower existence, they can't, that's why they killed Jesus Christ. People in the lower existence, you say, not my truth, not your truth, the truth. And this has had to have happened to you guys. You've tried to share this with somebody and the person thinks that you're doing something cunning. They think that you're doing something sinister and they think that you're doing a, an elaborate game because we want your truth. And you go, no, not my truth, not your truth, the truth. And they go, you're doing a cunning game where we end in your truth. People that live in the lower existence, it is impossible for them to grasp self-evident truth. They think it's a lie. They think it's a manipulation. They think that we're playing a game of, oh, you mean your truth? And you go, no, not my truth, not your truth, the truth, the truth. And they go, you're playing a shifty game where we do your truth. And then you go, no, not my truth, not your truth, the, you'll go forever. Because these people have to be alleviated from the mental illness. The mental illness is absolute confusion of the Jewish law. You leave the Jewish law. You, be, you get educated past the Jewish law 
into the door of Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what Jesus Christ is doing to this group of Jews. We would not have our laws. We would not even have, we'd not even be a people any longer. But it is the... See, is, understand, and, and this has happened to you, when he's saying, Jesus Christ, the lack of rigidity in your teachings, they're saying, well, then you're the great king. See, the lower existence cannot figure out the truth. It's the truth of everybody, not my truth, not your truth, the truth of everybody. And then you know what they say? They go, the lack of rigidity in your teachings. And you go, I don't have teachings, not my teachings, no, the teachings, the teachings and the truth. And they go, you mean your teachings? And you go, no, not my teachings, the teachings, the, the, the your truth. You go, no, not my truth, the truth. And then do you know what they say? The lack of rigidity in your teachings is giving me a a lot to worry about and you go it's not my teachings it's just the right way to do shit and you'll go infinitely that's why jesus christ destroys who we believe we are and everything that we believe in and then we're reborn in the door of jesus christ because you cannot reason with this shit Every single time you go, not my truth, not your truth, the truth, they go, the lack of rigidity in your teachings is really give. They follow a narrative of their law. They don't know the heart of the law. They know those fucking tablets of Moses, a letter of the law written in duality, the left side and the right side. But we learn from Moses... We would not have our laws. We would not even have, we'd not even be a people any longer. But it is the, the excessive tolerance, the lack of rigidity in your teaching that has made us feel that this is a real danger. For gold, and then here we go. I mean, you, I, I, hey, if you're learning at the mystery school for real, please donate. And I need to say thank you, everybody that does donate. I don't thank everybody enough. Thank you. I appreciate the the shit out of you. L look at this. I mean, after the education you've had, doesn't it feel silly that nobody knows what this is? It's right here. Look, the guy's expressing that duality is his law. Duality is what traps them in the lower existence. That has made us feel that this is a real danger. For gold gives me security. It's a guide to my whole way of life. A measure for judging this man is right and this man is wrong. You should not judge. But you... Now, the, the, this, is, this is the ultimate of the racist speech. Look at what Jesus Christ has to put up with. But here's the mind-blowing thing. You've been normalized to it. I'm trying to make it so you're not normalized to it. If you watched the entirety of my last video, you're going to see this little speech that this guy gives. You used to be confused by it. You used to just listen to it and there would be a blind spot. You really wouldn't know. No, L look at the ultimate of Jewish supremacy. And no, G Jesus, you don't understand. I get to do that. Jesus, I was raised as a Jew. The only thing I know is Jewish supremacy. I'm the good guy, Jesus. I'm the good guy. And imagine um, trying to talk to these um, bigots, these fucking racists, and they believe that they're the nicest people that have ever existed. Bro. You should not judge. But you, as a son of Israel, know that we were chosen by God. You, you, as a son of Israel, know that we were chosen by God. Look at this motherfucker. And it's Joseph where, where Jesus Christ is like, Joseph, you're not far away. You're not far away from the kingdom of God, Joseph. But hey, Joseph, can you even see your own Jewish supremacy where you're like, hey, Jesus, you know, you know about that, Jesus. You know I'm a Jew. You know our Jewish shit. I was chosen by God to be God's people. That's not God. Jesus is here to destroy all this Jewish shit where you think that you're God's chosen people. It's a mental illness that you have called narcissistic personality disorder. You, as a son of Israel, 
Now that we were chosen by God from all mankind. You, you got to hear this again. Listen to this. Hey, you as a son of Israel, you know about it, Jesus. You know how this works. I, I, I was chosen by God to rule over everybody. And you should not judge. But you, as a son of Israel, know that we were chosen by God from all mankind to be the holy nation and for this... The, the, then Jesus, look at Jesus, of course, Jesus is the fucking master. There's nobody better at, than Jesus. Jesus is the author of truth. Jesus is the author of all these scriptures. I mean, there's nobody that's going to say it better than Jesus Christ. So few words, so few words. You, Jesus Christ requ doesn't require books and books. So few words when it comes to Jesus Christ. And to be the holy nation. And for this, he gave us our law, the Torah, which is the law of life. And we have to separate ourselves. From oh, we have to separate. God, look at this speech of Jewish supremacy. Hey, Jesus, you know that I was chosen by God and I need to separate myself from the sinners. And then Jesus Christ takes all your Judaism and just flattens it. Just just pisses all over it with um, a few words. Now that we were chosen by God from all mankind to be the holy nation and for this he gave us our law the torah which is the law of life and we have to separate ourselves from the sinners that's the segregation of jim crow we have to separate ourselves from the sinners where the jim crow community creates all the segregation that's what it's it's literally doing the jewish shit that's why all this jewish shit and the jim crow community go hand in hand with Hitler. And by God, from all mankind, to be the... The, the, this might as well be a speech from Hitler. Uh, the the and Hitler's Aryan nation, and then the Jews do their own shit. But who came? Who came? What came first? This Jewish supremacy came first. You should not judge. But you, as a son of Israel. Now that we were chosen by God from all mankind to be the holy nation. And for this, he gave us our law, the Torah, which is the law of life. And we have to separate ourselves from the sinners and be pure and just. But who is just in the eyes of the Lord? That, that's all it took for Jesus Christ. That's the teaching. It beats anybody, anything anybody could ever say. Jesus Christ says, yeah, but who is righteous? Because I'm not talking about your God of the Old Testament, not talking about Yahweh, talking about the unknowable God. So who is righteous in front of the unknowable Lord? Who, uh, um, all bets are off now. Jesus Christ kind of finished the debate. Could Jesus Christ wins again? The there, there's nobody that could ever stand up to what Jesus Christ says. Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, the life. There's no way to ever debate anything Jesus Christ says because it's just the flat out truth. Nation, and for this, he gave us our law, the Torah, which is the law of life. And we have to separate ourselves from the sinners and be pure and just. But who is just in the eyes of the Lord? What is the heart of the Lord? Here, oh. Now, see, this is beautiful. Jesus Christ is going to say, you're not far away. Well, we're going to understand that being closer is the door of Jesus Christ. Um, getting far away is getting far away from the Jewish law of duality. What is the heart of the law? Hear, O Israel, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy uh, uh, Absolutely. You learn to love yourself because you couldn't even love God, but, but we have to love God through Jesus Christ. 
because we make ourselves a hypocrite when we just even mention God. Even mentioning God is putting a God in a box. It's restricting. There's only Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ provides a way for everything. Nobody would ever be able to solve this problem of, wait a minute, how do we ever mention God? Because just mentioning God puts God in a box, which makes all of us a hypocrite. How do we ever mention God and not be a hypocrite? Well, because it's God through Jesus Christ. Once again, Jesus Christ provides the solution, something you and I could never think our way into. We would infinitely make ourselves hypocrites if we didn't understand it's God through Jesus. How do we know God? We know God through Jesus Christ because trying to think our way into God, well, that's not God. Now we restrict to God. We put God in a box. That's not, that's, we've made an ego version of everything. This is the greatest commandment. You said, well, you're not far from the kingdom yeah. of God, Joseph. Let's listen to it. Let's listen to how Joseph isn't far away because Joseph didn't say any of his Jewish supremacy shit. He was talking about loving God with all of his heart, which means learning to love yourself with all of your heart so that you can learn to love other people so that you can learn to love. And um, I'm thinking Jesus Christ is saying, hey, Joseph, you're pretty close with that right there because it didn't have any of that Jewish supremacy in it. What is the heart of the law? Hear, O Israel, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength. This is the greatest commandment. Absolutely, but you're forgetting one thing there, Joseph. You got to learn to love yourself so that you can love your neighbor as yourself, so that you can realize. Whatever you do to everybody is what you do to Jesus Christ. Said well, you are not far from the kingdom of God, Joseph of Arimathea. But there is another commandment, no less great. You must love your neighbor as yourself. But who is my neighbor? No! No! Stop her! No! You can't come in! This is no place for the likes of you! And this is where we end it here, because we're transitioning all the way into another part. If you watched my last video all the way through, watched it twice, watched it three times, watched it right before you watched this one, this was very impactful. This was extremely eye-opening. I hope you had tremendous fun with the last video and how tremendously eye-opening watching Jesus of Nazareth is. How clear it is. It's right there. I hope you have a lot of fun. Much love to everybody.